here we are again. So welcome for the next session, Remote Graphics Workloads and Clients. Um, in this session, we, we will tell you something about different clients because the statement of most vendors is any time, any place, any, um, any device, but that last part is not always correct. So my name is Rodi Kosse. And uh, next to me is Patrick van der Born. Hello, I'm uh, Patrick van der Born. I'm uh, also uh, a Citrix CTA. I'm also part of uh, Team RG and a senior consultant at PQR. So uh, some agenda for today. Uh, at first, we will start with a real world scenario uh, and things which triggered us to do a session about uh, the different clients and uh, remoting protocols. Uh, sh a short recap, a recap about the different graphic workloads. Uh, we did some tests with some different native clients, some web HTML5 clients, and we want to share you some lessons we've learned. So at first, the real world scenario. Uh, we did a project at the customer, Rodi and I and Eric, which is also in the in-person event here at uh, a customer which invested in a hyper-converged infrastructure for their VDI backend or for the front end. So they have a VDI uh, environment based on Citrix VDI, Windows 10, Nutanix HAV, which has two clusters with each uh, 10 nodes per cluster, so 20 nodes in, uh, nodes in total. It's based on HPE hardware. Uh, all flash storage, so we're using machine creation services, and they're all using NVIDIA M10. So uh, when we uh, yeah, delivered the first VDI desktop, the VDI performance, and it's still now, it's awesome. So uh, this particular customer wants to select their own clients for their VDI environment. So the mindset of this customer was, hey, I invested all the money in my VDI environment, so in my uh, hardware. So uh, I do not need to invest a lot of money in my client. So uh, that mindset of the cus uh, customer is plausible. So. I advised the customer to test their personas on different clients to make sure they selected the right client. So this customer has two types of clients, like the most cl um, uh, personas were office workers, and we configured it with the m 10 b profile. And from the Citrix part, we configured the actively changing regions policy, and they're uh, doing a lot of 2D CAD engineering, which we have at m 10 q profile, and we're using uh, H.264 YUV 444 or uh, lossy compression. During the test, we've learned some interesting things and we see so, uh, have seen some different behaviors on clients. So we want to share uh, these results in the session. So at first, the uh, different graphic settings. Yeah, so with Citrix, as mentioned before in my previous session, you have tin wire which uses JPEG compression, adaptive display, uh, which uses a combination between tin wire and H.264. You have H.264 or for the entire screen, YOV 420, which is the default if you set it between uh, low, medium or high quality. You have H.264 for the entire screen with allow lossy compression for NVIDIA graphic cards. And uh, that means if you set it to lossless, it will do YOV 444 on the graphics card on NVENC. And you have as well H24 for the entire screen built to lossless, which uses a lossy compression for moving images and lossless for still images. And of course, you have the newer codec H265. And you can even use normal lossless compression. So uh, we also want to test the different clients with VMware Blast Extreme. And the VMware Blast Extreme uh, doesn't have that many options as Citrix, but they are supporting a G, G, uh, JPEG PNG compression, uh, H.264 based on YUV420, and H.264, which they call high color accuracy, which is based on the YUV444, and they're uh, both the same use cases as for Citrix, and also they support the H.265 uh, codec. Later on, when we're doing the HTML5 tests, we also tested Nutanix Frame, and uh, I asked Ruben to name those codecs because they all have some strange numbers, so we need to figure it out. 
like uh, they have two codecs the one uh, called uh, 0x1 x1 and that's the codec used uh, in google chrome you can in google chrome you can also enable uh, the hq setting which is the equivalent of yuv 444 which gives you uh, the two-day cat experience and when using Mo mozilla firefox the codec of 0x5 x4 is used so um first some little difference about the yuv 420 versus yuv 444 and uh some little recap uh, of the previous session of roadie uh, yuv 420 is used especially for 3d, 3D workloads uh, but this uh, particular customer was using 2d cat and when you're uh, doing a 2d cat application uh, with yuv 420 and when we see the the round over here especially the red yeah, it's uh, not uh, that red or it's not that sharp. So uh, YUV420, uh, 2D CAT engineer will not be happy when using this codec. So on the other hand, we want to use the YUV444 codec. And I think you will not see this on the GoToWebinar, but the, um, yeah, the circle is more sharp. So the image is more real. And this is how the 2D CAT uh, expected uh, the image yeah so we tested some clients um some physical clients so first we create some rich clients like windows 10 uh, mac os ubuntu and we had some tin clients an hp2 t630 with tin pro an igel uh, ud pocket which you can find anywhere um and computing workspace hub so the citrix workspace hub from n computing and a normal raspberry pi 3 uh, with a custom image and we created a uh, excel sheet of it and tested all the different combinations and here you can see some interesting things because if you want to do 2d cat you can only utilize with citrix a windows endpoint because the rest doesn't support yuv444 it will fall back on the other devices to tin wire always lossless which is a very very bad user experience but on the other end if you go to um, vmware blast you can do it on mac os or ubuntu or even linux with igel but not on a um, raspberry pi that just doesn't work, it doesn't support it. But here you can clearly see the difference. And we also seen, see, seen some strange things with built-in lossless on different devices. Um, for example, if we enabled built-in lossless on the end computing on, on, or on the Raspberry Pi, which are the same devices but different vendors, it works, but the performance is, I think, a third of what you see with H.264, which is strange because they use the same codec for moving images. Um, we didn't add Nutanix Frame to this comparison because they don't have a native client available at the moment. Um, I think it's better to just check all these different details later on. Um, and switch. let us switch to some native client experience show you the difference in the experience. Where is it? So first, it, the differences between Citrix with YOV444 on a different client. So in the left top corner, you have a Windows 10 endpoint. Uh, on the right uh, top corner, a MacBook Pro a raspberry pi with strato from strato desk in the uh, bottom left corner and the igel ud pocket in the uh, left right corner and they're all uh, set to yof 444 uh, but as mentioned earlier they don't all support it only windows supports it and you can really see the difference between the endpoints handling tin wire as well because in the upper left corner you will see the uh, YUV444 performance as it should be, and the rest is thin wire. And you can also see that the encoding CPU time is massive with, with macOS because 
Tinwire can't use the NVNC engine. So here you can really see it, it matters which endpoint you use. The second one is VMware Horizon with the different endpoints. So the same locations for the same devices. So Windows, MacBook, Raspberry Pi, and Agile, UD Pocket. Here you can see, uh, in comparison to Citrix, that H264 with YUV444 works like a charm on Mac OS, but it doesn't work well on the Raspberry Pi. It works, but the, the speed is not that great. And on Windows, it's the same. And you can also see that on Linux with the iGel, it works correctly as well. So there's a difference between those companies. So uh, what about the web clients? Um, this was a new world for me because as a consultant, uh, we always tell like, okay, if it runs uh, on a web client, uh, uh, you just need to use HTML5 and it works. But in this session, we tested on Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. And there are a lot of other browsers we skipped because we got to find another, a lot of different combinations. So um, when we look at the frame documentation, you will see they notice the difference between the browsers, like they stating if you're using Chrome, uh, you will experience a latency less than two milliseconds. When using Firefox, uh, it can be uh, more uh, between five or 10 milliseconds. So we have some little bit increasement in uh, latency. Safari, it's less than 10 milliseconds on the MacBook Air or uh, less than five milliseconds on the MacBook Pro. But when using Internet Explorer and Edge, yeah, then we uh, have a huge latency of about 100 milliseconds uh, per frame. On the Horizon website, we see also there are different behavior between Chrome and uh, Firefox. Like they state they only support JPEG PNG codec uh, except from Chrome browser. So this will we see, see in the results later on. From the Citrix part, uh, we see that the H.264 can be configured for all browsers. Uh, we can enable a selective H.264. Yep. And we're uh, even uh, capable to enable YUV444 support, which is for, uh, not yeah, false by default. So you can enable it by editing the HTML5 client. So uh, what we've learned here is that uh, HTML5 runs in any browser, but the best user experience is with Chrome. So uh, we did the test again, but then on all the devices with Chrome and Firefox. And uh, the first thing we've noticed is that uh, Citrix is capable of doing YUV444, um, actively changing regions and uh, build to lossless. It works, but the user experience is not uh, that great. And as expected, uh, VMware Blast Extreme only supports clients uh, of Chrome with YUV420 and GPEG uh, compression for the uh, uh, Firefox. Frame on the other hand is uh, doing the same like uh, VMware, like they're supporting high quality in Chrome and they are not supporting high quality in Firefox, but it will work there. Yeah. We, we also seen that on the ARM based clients like uh, the Raspberry Pi, it was impossible to start the HTML5 session at all because they're uh, too slow. They even broke the device. <laughs> so some little, uh, we will show you some results with the HTML5 client experiences. And first uh, of Chrome, based on the Windows 10 client. And on the, uh, on the uh, left top side, you will see frame, a high quality on a Chrome. On the right top side, you will see Citrix uh, with YUV444 on Chrome. And on, at the bottom, you will see for M, a VMware Horizon, uh, which only allows uh, YUV 4.2.0. And when we see this demo, um, when the, the Dead Star is going to spin, we see that Citrix is only capable of doing uh, 11 until 
10 frames per second. And if we look at the frame protocol, we see that it's now about 23 and it will go up to 30 frames per second. And I think Horizon is the worst. They tell us that they do 31 frames per second, but if you see the images, uh, it's not that much frames. So our conclusion is that frame has the best user experience in this scenario, since the dead star is rotating the best in Chrome. And if we do the same comparison in Firefox, so again, on the uh, left top, we will see frame, which uh, only supports the YUV420 equivalent in Firefox. On the right hand side, we have the YUV444 setting in Firefox from Citrix. And on the left bottom, we have VML Ryzen, and which only sends uh, JPEG compression. So in this scenario, you could say that it's not completely comparable, but we would uh, let you see the differences also with the highest image quality we could get. So yeah, that's yeah. why we use in Citrix YUV444. Yeah. And we only get eight frames uh, with Citrix. And again, they tell 31 frames, but I, uh, it's not 31 frames. And again, frame at the left top, the best with 30.6 frames per second. So uh, again, from a Firefox HTML5 perspective, frame is the most smoothest uh, uh, protocol uh, for usage from a web browser in this scenario. So back to our slide yep. deck. So uh, let's finish up and some lessons I've, we've learned during this project. So uh, try different clients per use case with your customer. So there is a different user experience per operating system. And also try different web browsers on these different operating systems or devices, because there's a different in user experience per web browser per device. So you get a lot of combinations. For YUV444 use cases, to the cat. Uh, for uh, uh, yeah, Citrix part, use Windows uh, clients as native clients and use Chrome when using a web browser. So what we've learned, any browser is supported, but Chrome gives you the best user experience from all vendors, from Frame, Citrix, and VMware. Uh, when using Linux-based thin clients like the HP or the iGel or other types of that uh, Linux clients, check the update cycles of your vendor. Since we've seen uh, uh, with the latest firmware, they support different versions, for example, of receiver or workspace app, we yeah. have to say nowadays. So if you want to be on the latest, on the greatest, select the Linux vendor, which uh, updates their cycles the fastest. And also the client hardware is very important. So for example, if you need decoding for H.264 or H.265, you need to select a client which support that hardware. So check your hardware compatibilities. And this is also the same for ex, uh, Skype redirecting or Teams, for example, if you want to use uh, the full HD camera support in your session. So thanks for the session. And uh, if there are any questions, please uh, leave it in the Q&A.